<laughs> oh. You know what? Assassination is just like riding a bike. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I should probably work on my alchemy before we head back to White Run. <laughs> Locked. All right, I suppose we can wait. Champion. What? Can I help you? Apologies for the intrusion. I am Paladin Marath of Meridia's Order. Meridia. My priestess Alara has sent me to find you and request your help. Please, follow me to our sanctum. Slow down and explain why you need me. Haven't I already done enough for Merida Meridia? Forgive my haste. Being truthful, I'm not sure why Alara feels she needs you so immediately. I do what she asks of me. All I know is that word has reached us that Meridia has a new champion, and the High Priestess of our Order wants to make contact. I'll do no such thing. Now leave me alone. I am working for the Master. You and Larson will get along famously. Fine. Follow me. Don't follow me. It's up to you. Meridia's Sanctum isn't far from Mal Kilkrin. When you've decided to behave like a true champion of Meridia, Alara wishes to speak with you there. Well... I'll see if I can fit it in my schedule. In the meantime, what is Meridia's order? Well, I'd wager you know Meridia better than most. No, I don't. You follow her command and decree, destroying all she considers to be unnatural. Being the Daedric Prince of Life, many of us also dedicate ourselves to the healing and health of others. The Sanctum is a place of worship, divinity, sanctuary, and protection. I hope that sums it up well enough. Alara is better at giving that speech than I am. You did fine. Meridia's order. Hm. Maybe I should have offered you since you're using her sword <laughs> all right let's go ahead and do some alchemy work take a good look around i'm sure you'll find what you're looking for if not let me know i might have it stored away Well, I don't seem to be able to get the hang of alchemy. Hmm. All right, Mox, let's get back to White Run. Well, everything seems quiet enough. Right, it's a lot later than I expected it to be. I think I'm going to get some sleep and then in the morning I'll head out to meet with the Dark Brotherhood. Let's hope that the M Master doesn't pay us a Another visit and see all these cobwebs. Oh, I see it looks like you have done some work here. At least you've cleared out the cobwebs in this corner. Candles, chair. Good work, Mox. The master will be pleased. 
All right, let me get some rest. And I'll see you later. All right, new day. My blood's calm. I prefer it boiling. It's time for us to part ways. You need my strength again? I'll be home. Good. And please, do something about these cobwebs before the Master's next visit. <laughs> yeah, you know he's not gonna be happy. Ah, oh, looks like the sanctuary is this way. It's an unmistakable mark on my compass. <laughs> and here we are. This is easy to find. It's like almost anybody could stumble upon this. Silence, my brother. Hmm. This place it seems almost familiar. Was I truly a member? At least in the future. They wouldn't know. They wouldn't remember. What's this? Forbidden legend. The Galdu legend. And I have his staff. Alright. Let me just poke around here. The Night Mother's Truth. I love to make Astrid wait. <laughs> She'll soon learn who's in charge around here. Hmm, an unusual gem. Too bad, I was hoping there was some hot coffee here I could drink. Hmm. So, this is the throne that the leader will sit in. I suppose I might as well get used to it. <laughs> Ah, and here you uh, are. At last. Yes. I hope you found the place all right. It was too easy. Anyone could stumble upon this place. It's a wonder you're not all dead. <laughs> if only they knew. So, what happens now? Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, a new life. You're part of the family, after all. A new, new life. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Safe, you think? All right. Well, when do I get to kill someone? <laughs> Soon. I'm arranging a job for you, but I need some more time. For now, go talk to Nazir. He may have some smaller contracts to tide you over. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your... Endeavors. Excellent. Uh, 
I've been waiting for the proper costume. So... Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all <laughs> very eager to meet you. Are they now? Sithis. Such interesting reading. Let's go and greet my family again, members. Again, do the part where he tries to buy you some candy. Okay, okay, wait. Here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. With the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh, yes. How about some chocolate? Oh, yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop through this alley. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Mine's dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful, such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! What about you, Festus? Oh, that was funny. How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes. Please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Yes. Ah, oh, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damn messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that funny. I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> boy, these people are a riot. Um, you, I remember you. You're Nazir. So you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. Yes, I have. Quite a bit about you. Have you? I haven't heard that much about you. But you will hear even more, I can assure you. Ooh, hockey. You slew everyone. I give you three days before you screw up and someone runs a knife across your throat. But who knows? I've been proven wrong before. Well, and this will be another time. So, Astrid said that you have some work for me. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. It sounds simple enough. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. I'm not looking Don't for glamour. Either, but they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Very well, then. Oh, I see you offer light armor training. Good. I'm ready for my first set of contracts. Well, then. Let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytilde, a mind boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Very well. Tell me about Baytilde. She separated from her husband several months ago. Now the two run competing mining operations. Beethilde's angry and desperate, a fighter. Tell me about Narfi. 
He's a hapless beggar living in some ruins just outside the village of Iverstead. Easy, even for you. Tell me about Anodius. He lived just outside Anga's mill in the woods. He was once the miller. Now Papias is just a paranoid recluse who thinks someone is out to get him. And he's right. <laughs> all right then. That'll be all. Good luck. Thank and you. Try not to get yourself killed. Oh, don't worry about that. Not gonna give up on alchemy just yet. Now that's interesting, one of the word walls down here. With the thieves, the, the brotherhood. And I can't read it. It's a shame that I'm mistaking the Dark Brotherhood for the Thieves Guild. Yes, yes, you're the new family member. Let's make this easy. Consider me the cranky old uncle nobody talks to. You go your way, I'll go mine. <laughs> right then. Hello. New brother, may I offer my most sincere welcome to our family? I'm an assassin without equal. I belong here. You certainly have a strange energy about you. I look forward to following your progress. Good. May the Shroud of Death embrace you. Ah, oh, and the little vampire girl. Hello. There you are. I don't let my appearance throw you off. I'm older than you. A lot older. Getting bitten by a vampire when you're ten will do that to a girl. <laughs> well, I'm sure you have quite the tales to tell. Oh, let's see how you can train in alchemy. Okay. Well, thank you. Kill well it's good to meet you. Often. All right. You do the same. I guess you're going to have to. To keep yourself fed. You know, I... What about what it might be like to be a vampire? Ah, oh, and this is the... The werewolf. I can sense it on him. I'm not sure how. Welcome, my Hello. brother. Hello. Welcome to our sanctuary. You have made the right choice joining us, I assure you. Well, and I can assure you that the Dark Brotherhood will return to greatness with my help. You just trust in Astrid? Oh no, her orders. not her. You'll do fine here. <laughs> not her at all. Until next time, brother. Yes. And you there. Well, well, it's raw meat. Oh, my beautiful wife has told me all about you. <laughs> what little she knows. You know nothing about me. Or my abilities. I'll give you a week before you end up dead in a ditch. That's what everyone seems to think. You are certainly going to be surprised. Kill well and often. Mm. You the same. You might want to get a looser fitting outfit. All right. So many contracts, so little time. There's only three right now. Don't get ahead of yourself. All 
right, I believe I've met I'm everyone. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. Okay. That's all right, I need the practice. <laughs> all right, I think it's time for me to change into more comfortable clothes. And here we are. All right, let's see about my next contract. I say next contract, but it's actually my first. This should be fun. Star. So this is where Baytild resides. She must be right in front of me somewhere. There. I suppose I should say, Sithis, take you. <laughs> and Nodius Papas is next on my list. There we are. Take me to Enodius. Hmm. It's quite an arch, very nice. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Well, even this spectral steed is just as violent as the other horses. <laughs> oh well. I suppose at least he can't be killed. The gods. What's this world coming to? What are you on about? You. So you can cast a few spells? Am I supposed to be impressed? <laughs> what? By the gods. <laughs> I 
I don't know who you are, but you'll never insult anyone again. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. I see there's a time limit as to how long you exist. Let's see if we can't get to Anodius before you return to the ether. sure how this is gonna turn out. He kind of knows I'm here. Assassination is just like riding a bike. <laughs> Get these things. all of them. Oh, wait. Oh, I missed this. <laughs> all right, the steed is gone. Anodius is dead. It's time for me to find my final target. Oh, here we are, Harvested already. Wasn't that far of a horseback ride. to stay. All right, well then, you'll just have to vanish. There we go. So, Narfi, somewhere over here. way. Three contracts, three dead. Now, let me get back to Nazir and collect my reward.
The Night Mother is mother to all. What? It is her voice we follow. Her Cicero. Will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And surely punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. The box. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lap. So he was carrying the night that mother. Had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero, I for one am delighted you and the night mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are. <laughs> sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as keeper. Understood, husband? Her. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, uh, uh, there you what? are. What? Good. Hello? I was done speaking with that so, muttering fool anyway. Muttering? We've got some business to discuss. Do you have a contract for me? I do indeed. Oh, you must time. go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the black sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Is there anything else? Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Good. Cicero. Wait, oh wait! I know you. Yes. You do? Yes! From the road, Cicero never forgets a face. Yes. It's good to see you. You're the man with the wagon transfer transporting his mother. I am! I am! <laughs> but not just my mother. Our mother. Oh, of course. Excuse the me. The night mother. Oh, yes. <laughs> and you helped me. You helped poor Cicero. You talked to Lorius and got him to fix my wheel. Oh, you may have pleased me, but you have surely pleased the Night Mother. And our mother, she will never forget. Well, that's good. Why did you come to the Sanctuary? The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was... desecrated. Oh, what? Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home. Here, this is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Really? Such was my honor as keeper. Hmm, that's pretty shocking, though. This is it. You are all the assassins that are left. Hmm. Anyhow, what are your duties? What are the duties of a keeper? Oh, Cicero takes care of our lady's body. Oh, I see. Boils it, preserves it, keeps it safe. Make sure nobody disrespects our matron's coffin. Well, I'm glad it's you. Oh, yes, mistress. You're the boss. For now. <laughs> I heard you. And I agree. And Astrid is something else. I mean, she offers friendship in one hand and a dagger in the other. It's always threats. As long as you remember that I'm the boss. Her time is coming, Cicero. And I hope that we can work together. 
at righting the wrongs here at this sanctuary. I'll call you when the time is nigh. Miss Cicero can talk for a moment. <laughs> Just a moment. Then Mother must be tended to. Yes, tend to Mother. What everyone else is saying. I need to talk to Nazia. Well, I certainly won't deny my involvement. <laughs> Will there Nazia. ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our services? I think not. No, oh, there might be sooner than you think. Enodius Pappas is dead. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. Hmm. Your payment for a job well done. I see I need to come around to the By front. Sithis, Excuse me. Everyone. Well, Excuse me. For that one you kept alive the bad. To serve as witness. Does your who are, who your are you talking no about? No bounds? Who did I and keep she, alive? So I see you're back from Dawnstar. Yes. Yeah. Until lies dead, I hope. There's no need to hope. She's dead. Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. On those hours, <laughs> the murder. I could do this all day. I bet you Here's could. Payment. Thank you. And, uh, the beggar Nafi, he's dead as well. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. It was hot You're blood, actually. An opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. Don't mock me, brother. Should we have to test our skill, I'm not sure that you would come out on top. <laughs> well, do you have any more contracts? I'm sorry, I don't. What? Come see me again see? later. You talk about all these contracts. Is the Dark Brotherhood on its Will last there legs? Come a time when the people of Skyrim I no longer need happened. our services. That time is coming. I think not. It is coming sooner than you think. It was a suicide mission. All right. Astrid said as much. Let me see about my next hey, contract. You give me too much credit. But if that's well, your how wish, can I fail? I'll I am, oblige. after all, a stupid girl. What threat could I possibly pose? You know, I'm. <laughs> Getting kind of envious that you're here talking to the Night Mother. Miss Cicero can talk for a moment. That's Just all right. A moment, <clears throat> then Mother must be tended to. Yes, you go ahead and oil her body. Cicero is hungry. It's time for me <clears throat> to get my next contract.